channel so today I have a super exciting video for you and it is DIY makeup organization all of the stuff that I am doing is a little more bohemian inspired so it matches my makeup room but you can definitely customize this to be whatever you'd like and this video is also a collaboration with my friend Tyler from It's Tyler Duh and he is going to be doing desk organization over on his channel. I love him. He is so funny. He's so outgoing. He's so nice. And he just is easy to listen to. So definitely head over to his channel. Tell him that I said hi. And if any of you are from his channel, hello, welcome. And yeah, so I will link his channel down below so you can check out his video. And let's get into the video, shall we? Oh, yes. Also, change my hair. Do you guys like it? Leave me a comment down below what you think, if, unless it's bad, then don't. Tell you something. Alright guys, this first DIY is so easy and so cute. I love the way this one turned out. And it's just a lip gloss organizer using mason jars. The jars that I'm using I got at, the, at Target in the dollar section. And I love them because I love the pink tint that they have. And so I'm just using some industrial adhesive to glue them together, and eventually I'm going to make a pyramid shape. So for the base of my pyramid, I'm just making a line of three, and yeah, you could really even add more jars and make this bigger, but whatever you feel like doing, I just needed six. So I'm just holding them together so the glue sets a little bit before I start with the top. So then I'm just adding some more jars, gluing them together, and I ended up wishing that I would have used hot glue because it sets a little bit faster. Um, and the jars were kind of sliding all around. So if I did this again, I would use hot glue, but it ended up working out. I just let this glue dry overnight and made sure that everything was nice and secure. So yeah, so once it dries, you have the best little lip gloss organizer. I seriously love the way this turned out. It's so cute and it's the perfect solution for all of my lip glosses. Take me on a day, I deserve a pay, and don't forget the flowers that bring in the verse. I feel like I can't even call this next DIY an actual DIY because it's more of a life hack, but whatever. So I love acrylic um, lipstick organizers because they're the perfect solution for all my lipstick, but it just doesn't match my bohemian designed makeup room. So I decided to take some of this feather washi tape and just put it around the side. And the perfect part about this is washi tape is repositionable, so it'll be super easy for me to switch this out and change it as my decor changes. And then I picked a coordinating one to make a second one, and yeah, I love the way these turned out, and they are they match my room much better than they did before. You gotta know how to treat me like a lady, even when I'm acting crazy. Alright guys, for this next DIY, you're going to need a terracotta pot and the saucer base and then a little wooden ball that you can use as the top of your holder. So I just spray painted mine gold so that it matched my decor better and this is just using some spray paint. It, it was really easy and it took me only a couple minutes. Then I hopped onto my phone and found some henna inspired designs so I could get inspired for what I wanted to draw onto the base of my apothecary jar. So yeah, I'm just using some puffy paint to draw the henna on and take your time with this. I felt, at first I thought I wasn't gonna like the way it ended up turning out, but once it, everything dried and I put it in my room, I actually loved my designs. Just make sure you're taking your time, doing your best, and anyone can really do it. And so then I wanted the top to match a little bit, so I just put a bunch of dots all over the little wooden ball and it was a really cute accent for the jar. So then I'm just taking my E6000 glue and putting it on the base of the pot because then you just need a fish bowl that you're going to attach to the top of this. So if you, <laughs> realistically, if you didn't want to use this for your lip glosses, you could totally put a fish in it, but I'm not going to do that. So yeah, so then I'm just attaching the fish bowl to the pot and then taking that same glue and attaching the little wooden ball to the top of the saucer 
and you have a really cute apothecary jar. This is the perfect solution for all of my EOS lip balms because I have a ton and I never know where to put them. I loved how that turned out so much that I decided to make three extra ones for three very special viewers, Gabby, Ellie, and Gracie Esslinger, because they had been requesting me to do a DIY room decor video, so I thought I would do something special for them as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching. See you soon!